Hey guys, it's Skulker3 and welcome back to the final part. Well, the final actual part. There's going to be a bonus video. Um, welcome to the final storyline part of Let's Play Time, gentlemen, please. In the last part, we got through Hitler's Tower. And in this part, we're going to kill Hitler. Always good. There's Ben walking around. Um, so, uh, I said you have to remember a certain important piece of information. Have you remembered what it is? If you haven't, then that's not too big a problem. At least I know what it is. In the fact that this magnet is strong enough to move the hands on Big Ben itself. Hope this thing's powerful enough. <laughs> go, magnet, go! And it is powerful enough. And it is now... Oh. Well, we've just broken that statue, so that's nice. Um, Let's try and go in and get it. Oh, shit. He's using lasers. Use the glasses on the lasers. And we can destroy his good friend, Colonel Eisenbauer, or Iron Jaw. Uh, let's take his jaw as well, I suppose. Might make sense. Yeah, joy, joy, joy. Yeah, this bit got me stuck for a while. Um, yeah. So you need to do that. So that you can get his jaw. For reasons that you will see. Uh, now we need to get over to Dan. Oh, we can't even use him. I can't use Dan in the traditional way. Uh, can we get anything over to him? Oh, this will work. Okay, we push this over there. Dan! See what you can do! What, me? Can you see any other Dans in here? Well, this kind of looks like Dan. And that one looks like Ben, so I think we can see where the inspiration for those gargoyles came. Um, okay, let's push this across and see what happens. This is ein forgery! Ah, he doesn't think it's the real... doesn't think it's the real Dan. Uh, let's try and get those wings off. That might help. Get off him! Damn it! The stone wings knacked the saw right up. Damn, it's not strong enough. Uh, let's try using the iron jaw then. That'll work, surely. It's gotta be... Damn it! Iron jaw's iron jaw is dulled with time. The teeth aren't sharp enough to hack through. Dang it. We need to sharpen this somehow. The rasp! The rasp sharpened the teeth nicely. It'll chop through pretty much anything now. So wheat. Let's try this again now. Scrunch, scrunch, scrunch. Hooray! That worked nicely, so now we've got some the Oh. He just destroyed Ben! Uh, so that's fun. Okay, let's... Hmm. Okay, well, let's, let's just push him across and see if he falls for it this time. Mm, he didn't seem to do anything. He didn't shoot at it or anything. Uh, we need to make it more convincing. Let's give him a jacket. Yeah, Dan wears a jacket. Ugh, this place is getting more and destroyed. That's a done poorly disguised gargoyle. And he's still not falling for it. What can he possibly? What can he possibly think is not real about that? Hmm. Come on, let's just push it back again. See if he says anything. Das ist nicht real, Dan. How does he always know? Um, I suppose it doesn't... Let's use the glasses. Everyone knows that Dan is characterized by his glasses. Doesn't need glasses. Damn it. Uh, maybe we need to make it sound like Dan. Put the bird in there. Go, go, go. Dan, say something to it. My name's Dan. My name's Dan. My name's Dan. Oh, okay, he's shooting at it, but that's not really going to help us. Uh, we need to find some way to make it just... <laughs> and etc. My name's Dan! <laughs> Lasers on the dynamite, kaboom! And we just killed Hitler. Everyone knows that's the way to go. I've just got some drink here, so... Please excuse me while I drink it. Ah, sorry, my throat is is slightly dead, so, you know, the drink helps. Sorry I haven't been reading this out. I was too busy getting drunk. Well, just drinking because it's not actually actual. Yeah, it really helping my case when I can't say it's not actually alcohol properly. Okay, it may be alcohol, but it's not. So, um, so yeah, I haven't been reading this, so he's just going to fix time now. We got the time stick back. That's nice and convenient. Oh. 
Ugh. That's a bit gross. Yay, <laughs> the umbrella! Oh man. Classy. Um. Yo. Oh, what an unpleasant way to go. To be fair, he was quite evil. True. Just a little bit. Oh, time to go! Run, guys, run! You've got to get out of here now. So, yes, we're now back in. Hey, it's Alan Hartnell! Hurry, boys! Pal! How did you get out of the basement? With your, you know, disability. I built a ramp. I only have a wheel for a foot, but I am a scientist. I am a scientist. I am a scientist. I don't have much time. The universe is on the verge of collapse. The time machine is complete, but for one final component the time stick. Do you have it? Sure do, pal. Quickly, climb board before reality itself completely destabilizes. Thanks, pal. Of all the stupid things we did mucking about with time, you were the one thing we got right. Maybe you could come back with us. No, boys, it's too dangerous. My very existence would be a continued strain on the space-time continuum. I'm quite happy to be deleted from the temporal database. During my running time, I have invented time travel, partaken in the saving of the universe, and I made two very good friends. All tasks completed. Now come along, and after this preposterous sentimentality, you need to stop your past self from disrupting the timeline before the entire universe collapses. That's a pretty good plan. We don't want all this to still happen. Oh, hey, he used the bomb, from the looks of it, to power the time machine slightly. And all the stuff we used to power him up. Presumably this goes here. Yeah, that looks about right. Thanks for everything, pal. And now we go back to the past! You had to say it, didn't you? Of course you did. <gasps> Hitler! Current time, Hitler! Hitler! Didn't we kill this loser already? Only in the future, Dan. Gentlemen, I come to inform you that I have used a time stick to locate the golden Hegoltang of doom. Instead, I find you about to escape and to erase me from existence. Well, I'm afraid you took a little too long over it. And now you will die. Punch it! Go, Ben, go! Yay! We are out of here! Huh? The heck? A duck? What is this going on? Ah, Miss Hitler, allow me to explain. I'm afraid this timeline no longer exists. Reality is crumbling around us. Hey, it's a human airplane. No rules apply. Oh, we have a toaster now. Now, Ben, Dan, going back in time, our past has become impossibly unstable. In theory, anything could happen now. Cheerio! No, that's just silly. Right, well, we're going back in time to stop ourselves from stopping coat hangers ever being invented, so... You know, there can't go anything wrong with that, surely just, you know... Hey guys, don't do it, seriously. Hey, it's 1138 AD. Excellent. So, this is when coat hangers were invented? Hmm, I assume so. Oh, yeah, there's a guy trying it out. I'm sure he'll find a way. Oh, we almost had it over there. Oh, okay, there's... Where are we then? I think you mean, when are we? This is the year 1138. And look! That muddy peasant must be the fabled John C. Hanger, inventor of the coat hanger. We'll have this whole thing wrapped up in no time. So, how do we stop coat hangers being invented? Do we kill their inventor or just blow them up? Hmm? So those must be the past selves. What the hell? And here's the future era past selves. Hands off those coat hangers! Or possibly even more past selves. Evil future us? I thought if we defeated those guys with your low physics grade. Actually, we're good future you. We've come to warn you not to prevent coat hangers from being invented. Ha! Ah, this is just some sort of trick. To stop us from getting everything back to normal with our Brillo plan. Now listen here, you short-sighted buffoon. These coat hangers are more dangerous than you could possibly imagine. Oh. Ben. What the fuck did you just do? Uh-oh. Right. So, there goes reality. Presumably killing past us wasn't the smartest of moves. Yep. Reality has just stopped. Nice work. Boy, you said it. What happened to the floor? I think you just de-existed it. With your ridiculous paradox. You said it again. Where are you go- The hay? Can I get you a drink, gentlemen? A pint of lion's roar, perhaps? 
I should think erasing the Unos from existence would build up quite the thirst. Creating it certainly did. God? I created the infinitely complex and beautiful universe which you just destroyed, yes. Call me what you will. Now, about this missing universe of ours. As you know, I like to take something of a hands-off approach. Let you lot sort things out for yourselves, you know. Yes, Mr. God. Good idea, Mr. God, sir. Yes, well, it looks like you boys have buggered things up so badly that I'm going to have to fix everything myself. What say I recreate everything back to before this whole mess began? Just promise me you won't turn evil when you get old and start this whole thing over again. We promise, God. Now then, Daniel, this would allow you to go back to being a sidekick if you'd prefer. No thanks, God. We work great as a dynamic duo. Very well, then. Goodbye, boys. I look forward to watching your next adventure. Oh, I'll fix your telly for you, and make it just so you're back just in time for Magnum P.I. Time, gentlemen, please. That's right. The last line of the game is the title. And that is it, guys. That is it for Let's Play Time, Gentlemen, Please. Pretty much, there's going to be a bonus video, which you'll see, I don't know, probably tomorrow, maybe next Monday, I'm not sure. I've lost count of what day this would be uploaded on, so I don't know. But yes, this has been Let's Play... Well, it's been Let's Play Ben There Down That and Time Gentlemen Please. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. There's still so much in these games that I did not show, so, you know, if you liked the humor that you saw, then get these games and see all the rest of it that you missed out on. Um, yeah. So, I... Uh, oh. There's me! Hey! It automatically closed the thing, and that's what I currently have my background set to. Because I don't really have many images, currently. Um, so yes, that is that. And so I shall see you whenever the next uploading day is for either a new LP or some Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. I'm not sure yet. Uh, oh, no, wait, no, it'll, next time it'll be the bonus video. Yeah. Anyways, I will see you then, guys. Goodbye!